to go, man. I'm tired. It's early. It's very early yeah, right now. It's hard to, to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it is Monday, though. <laughs> Very early Monday morning. This is my boy Lorenzo. We're up at the butt crack of dawn right now. Gonna head into the woods. Gonna have to get some coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I'm getting coffee this morning just because I gotta stay awake a little bit, so. Uh, capucha. Cappuccino. But if you wanna be really cool in Italy, you don't say cappuccino when you order it. You, were, you say cappuccio, then they know, they know you're, you're in on the coffee and you understand what's cool. Cappuccio. Per me un cappuccio, per favore. I feel like I have to brush my teeth now. All right, let's head into the woods. Let's go find some cool shit. All right, so we were driving and we, we saw this like, villa on top of a hill and I don't know we probably broke a lot of rules to get on here but we're on this campus right now this is this place looks very abandoned and I'm hoping I'm ho I hope this I hope the villa is abandoned oh, yeah. I think we struck gold this place we found an abandoned villa. Look at look at where we, look at where I am right now. This is this place is unbelievable. I can't believe we found this. Look at the windows. They're cemented closed. Everything is sealed. Oh, you can smell it. Oh, I love that smell. Look, you can see the cement. Everything's bricked up in there. It's dark. Well, this is creepy. You got a light? Oh. Look at this. Considered a fresco? I mean, I'm calling it a fresco. Look at this. All right, so I did a little bit of research on this place and it was built in the early 1800s by this really wealthy merchant. And his, he had a mentally disabled son, so he decided to turn this entire campus into a mental hospital um, because he wanted to cure his son. Um, and then during World War II, the Nazis used this place as a prisoner camp. And then after World War II, it was turned back into a mental hospital, and now it's just abandoned. So this is an abandoned mental hospital, Nazi camp. I'm blown away. This place is absolutely astounding. I can't believe that this painting is just here, forgotten. Like, this is... Think about all the things that went on in here. Who knows? Dinners, parties, classes. I have no idea. It's just like the beauty of Italy. 
place is like a ghost town. I have to be kind of quiet because I don't know if there's security or some type of people watching. I have no idea. So that's why I'm keeping my voice down when I'm outside. Uh, here, Partizani Patrioti are the, the prisoners who were inside here. The Partizani were, were against Nazis. Okay. So, so this is where they... Wow. Look at this. 1934. <laughs> Gynecology. Okay. All right, we've found the road again. Make our way out of here. Hopefully no one sees us. We're gonna make a quick stop here in Fort Lee to grab lunch. It's very, very traditional food, so I'm very excited to get over there. I'm gonna head into the kitchen here. Oh, it's so hot in here. Ciao, ciao. Okay, everything here is a, is a recipe from Romagna. Romagna is a part of Emilia Romagna, which is a province of Italy. But this is not Emilia, this is Romagna. They're separate things. They're separate things. Emilia is one part, Romagna is another part. Even though on the map it's one thing. So the recipes here are specifically Romagna recipes. Cosa abbiamo oggi? Ma devi venire al mezzogiorno quando c'è tutto pieno. Sì, ma ero una I had a aventura. Niente grugnate. Cos'è questo? Tripa? È tripa, ma sto buttando lì. Per fare tripa. Questo è il sugo. Sì. E poi qui butto tripa, poi pomodoro. So what cos'è questo? Carote? And then you you put in the the tri the tripe. E poi un po' di sale e pepe, questo ci deve un po' rotolare, capito? Sì. Stai lì. 5-10 minuti. E poi sta lì a bollire. Per quanti minuti bollire? Ah, dopo, do, dopo ne per cuocere un'ora. Ok, one hour. I have found the secret location of where they make capoletti. This is where I need to learn, oh my goodness. It takes very special hands. Vinco! Vinco! Mario! Hey, let me see if I'm ever dead in. What's the caption? <laughs> DD <laughs> in adventure. Okay. Perfect. Perfetto. What is this that you like? This is the tongue. The intestine. The intestine. The intestine. 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 And this is the manzo. 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 And this is the cotechino. Oh my goodness. It's very important to remember, because everyone talks about bolognese, ragu bolognese. This is not ragu bolognese. This is ragu for livese. Bologna is about 30 minutes up the road. Very similar to bolognese, but it's not. It's ragu for livese. I don't exactly know the difference. I'm, I can probably find out. Every city has their own different ragu. So when you're at an Italian restaurant, the way you know everything is legitimately handmade is everything is all different sizes, from the tortellini, the capoletti, the tagliatelle, the spaghetti. If something is really, truly handmade, not in, with no machine interference, everything is not uniform. It's not cut right. Some things are wider, some things are shorter. Real handmade is very different from what you eat, you know, that comes out of a machine. It's just like, it's really difficult to describe. The only way to figure out is to actually eat it, but it just has this, this density, this, this, this rustic, rustic feel to it that is unlike anything else. This, this is Alfio. He's a big fan of our team. He's the owner of this restaurant. It's uh, El Estese Ricette. Sì, sì, sempre. Da quando, da 52 anni fa, sì. io con mia povera mamma, mia moglie, mia suocera, purtroppo è morta mia mamma, mamma suocera, però con i figli siamo sempre quelli, facciamo sempre quasi le stesse robe. Sì. Però la vera Romagna, la vera Romagna 
è questo o no? Si vedono le tagliatelle, le cappellette, gli occhi, sì, sì. Eh, ragufo le vese. La, 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 la vera Romagna è questo, cioè, capito? Il, 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 il tortellino è emiliano. Sì. La, la differenza dal tortellino al cappelletto, sai qual è? È che no. il, il, il compenso dentro, cioè il ripieno dentro, eh, quello di Bologna, il tortellino, è fatto solo di eh, mortadella, due o tre tipi di carne, formaggio, grana, noce moscata, sì. invece noi invece mettiamo solo un po' di lonza, un po' di lonza di maiale sì. e, e, e il 70% è ricotta. Ah. formaggio morbido, capito? Ecco, la differenza è quello dal cappelletto, però dopo anche noi mettiamo la noce moscata. Eh. Wow, anche mi piace il noce moscato. Eh, sì. Wow, bravo! Sì. Sì, 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 certo, certo. This place is so good that they can make a tripe sauce taste good. Talk about using from nose to tail everything, of the, every part of the cow, respecting every part of the animal. They're taking the stomach lining and making an unbelievable sauce out of it that you probably wouldn't even know it's the stomach lining if no one told you. I mean, what a day. This is like, I don't know what more you want. We found the villa out of nowhere. Come here in Fort Lee eat some great Romagna food. All I have left is to just edit all this. So I gotta get it home, start throwing this together. Another successful Monday. Easy. Okay, okay, okay. I'll ra I'll ra I'm wrapping it up right now. I'm wrapping it up right now. Until then, the adventure lives on. See you later.